Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. No, this is not going to be an RC car video, but I do have some updates for you as to what is going to be going on here in the next few weeks. I love that little car. I don't play with that as much. It's, it seems to be a little more fun using the bigger cars, but they're a little harder to navigate through here where that one does really well. And actually, I just found on the remote, there's a setting that gives it like stability track. So when it starts going sideways, it'll compensate. And for something that little, it's really, really helpful. So the bigger vehicles, I jump them more. And I noticed that when you jump them, the stability track would always turn the wheels and would land with them sideways. So I kind of turned it off and I've been out here just fishtailing, bouncing off of stuff. And I was like, hey, wait a minute. And wow, it works. It's great. So it's been fun. But seeing how we're back here in the uh, RC car track, let's go ahead and give you a little update here. Uh, I said I was going to clean out this wood pile. These are trees that we had uh, either knocked down or some like a couple of these trees. We had some branches trimmed because they were going to hit the garage. Really didn't want to take away too many trees. So we put this in the path of least resistance. But a couple trees did have to come down and a few trees had to be trimmed and it was too expensive. So we hauled this, we had it dumped here and I've been cutting, I mean, look from probably about here to here, there was all a whole bunch of trees. All this was full. So we've been burning it, getting that cleared up. So one, this mess is just gone and out of the yard. Two, we, we're getting some good firewood. Some of it's good for the wood burning stove. And then three, I'll have more room for my RC car track. All right. Ooh, it's dark. All right, now this is the big one. I know this is the one everybody wants to see. Project Z28. I have a video I've been working on. It's in the works. Um, so I don't want to go into too much as to what's going on with the car. We've had to do a few things, but I'll have a video coming out shortly. Um, I really want to make one big video out of everything that's going on, but it's going to the dyno. I have the appointment set up. So that's the big news. So we will find out the horsepower numbers coming up. It will happen. So yeah, like I said, I've been working on that video. Um, I've actually been working on it since before I went to Hawaii. Uh, I had something had to do with the car and then, you know, you know the history. So, for the ladies, um, I'll give you a little garden update. Um, we've had some freezing weather and it's hasn't been kind. Uh, we actually built, or I built, these PVC things to go over so we could put plastic on it. But this, whatever it was, was really kind of like a pretty reddish. Didn't appreciate the cold at all. Not at all. What was that? How? I don't know what this stuff is. She's growing all kind of fountain grass. <sighs> um, look at that. We got a few tomatoes. Although the plant itself didn't seem like it liked it, but we still got some growing here. Oh no, that tomato got. I'm thinking these are cucumbers or something like that. Oh yeah, right there. Little baby cucumber. Uh, so the peppers they seem to have done all right let me see here let me get to, uh, yeah but whatever this stuff is do not like getting cold This stuff that she's got going, uh, beets. Beets and probably something else. I know she's also got some, oh, what is it, onions or garlic. Yeah, she's been planting some garlic out of this. I think this might be garlic. Right, we have some kale. I think this is tomatoes. It obviously did not do well at all in the cold, unfortunately. The lettuce and all that, whatever this cabbage, did fine. It did fine. But, uh, yeah. 
unfortunate. But the good thing is we got a lot of this here and there's a lot of bees in the area looking for stuff to pollinate. So I'm not quite sure what that thing is. Some type of butterfly. Maybe. But the uh, the leaves on the uh, eggplant didn't seem to like it, but the eggplant seems fine. Yogi, my oldest cat. What's up, dude? What's up, dude? Well, Yogi, sixteen, man. Sixteen. He's an old guy. Yeah, you old guy. Found him at work one day. He came home. Supposed to dot them out. Obviously, we haven't found a home for him yet. I named him Yogi because it looked like little Yogi Bear, like the cartoon Yogi Bear. I named him Yogi. Uh, All right, I'm I'm setting foot in the garden, so uh, if I get yelled at, I hope you guys appreciate this. Uh, We got some peppers here. They seem to be all right. Yeah. Peppers did okay. Those, not so much. These did okay. Man, dude, look at all the dang peppers we got. What the heck? Uh-oh. That didn't do good. That broke. That broke off. This is not my fault. I did not do that. Uh, these did not do well at all in the cold. And I don't know what all she's got planted here. She's actually got potatoes in the ground in places and onions. I think some of this might even be onion. I don't know. And here are some of the logs from in the backyard this is what we're gonna I'm gonna split this and then we're gonna uh, let it dry and then that'll be good wood for the fireplace dang I told the wife to cover my daisy and she didn't she said it'd be fine but obviously it's not because it got hurt in the cold she covered these things <sighs> okay. so I will tell you the SS has an appearance in the next video as well, so you will see a little bit of that. Have a little update on the SS as well. Uh, the weather's cooled off. It's cooled off tremendously. It just went from hot as hell to freezing, frost warnings overnight. I swear, it's like. But I think we should have some decent weather. Just really need to get off my rear, get the GTO around here, and uh, work on those rear wheel bearings. So hopefully before the end of the year, we'll get the GTO back on the road and we can have some content with it drive it um i would love to do an exhaust on that uh, and that's expensive but i do wish that car had a more throatier sound so maybe maybe now i stop playing around with all the hiking gear and rc stuff <laughs> all that maybe i'll put some money into the cars um that being said i mentioned before i'm gonna sell project z28 it's had too many cars it's just Really inconvenient having the crews back there and having to bring it around every time I want to go somewhere. And while Project Z28 is cool, um, and it's probably my own doing, if I would have left it stock, it would have been great. If I would have had plenty of ground clearance to get in and out of that garage and all that. But so I just have too many cars, too many cars to keep an eye on that I have to register and insure and all that. So. I really would like to just get down to two or three, probably three. The Cruise, the GTO, the SS maybe. Uh, I love the 50th Camaro, so I don't know. I don't know. But that's a whole other thing. That's another reason I look to sell Project Z28, because I need money to put the motor in that car. Which I might at this point, I'm thinking about seriously just rebuilding it. Uh there are issues with the active fuel management with lifters going bad i'm not sure how bad the lt1s are plagued with it i need to reach out to smitty he's a dealer tech so he he's familiar with this but i don't like my friend bob uh 
you know, Top Hat Plus up there in Canada, he he hasn't had any problems. He daily drives his car. He hasn't had any problems. Um, even Sand Key, he's got a 50th that's got the V6, but it has active fuel management, even though our daughter has one. She has the V6 Camaro, and they haven't had problems with it, so I don't know. If it's not really a problem, I might just go with the re with the brand new GM motor. At least they'll have a warranty. If not, I might just rebuild it, send it out, have somebody rebuild it, and uh, we'll put like a cam in it. Nothing crazy, nothing like Project Z20, but something that would sound good and deletes the AFM. But honestly, I kind of liked having the AFM because I had times I got up to 30 miles a gallon out of that Camaro. Um, you know, it has to be nice, easy terrain. You know, but, you know, nothing up the hills in that world. But I had gotten some pretty good gas mileage out of that car. And ever since I put the supercharger on, I was locked in about 22, 24, something like that. Still slightly better than the uh, SS and the GTO. They get 20. They don't care if you're on the highway or the city. They just don't care. 20. <laughs> That's it. You know. So, yeah, things have just slowed down in my life. We don't have anything going on. No trips, vacations, anything planned. Uh, no camping trips coming up. Things just getting cold. So I really don't know what what I'm going to do, what I'm going to put out for content. Uh, I just didn't want to disappear. I want to at least make a once-a-week appearance, let you know what's going on. But, like I said, I am working on the Project Z28 video. I have part of it done. She's going to the dyno. We're going to get some numbers. And then I want to head over to an exhaust shop and get that bendy pipe taken out. I also, where it goes up over the back axle, this is a Borla cap back, so it was pre-made. So it, it comes down really steep and it's really low to the ground. I want to see if you can't trim that and get that to tighten up a little bit. <sighs> well, apparently it's rush hour here. Ah, it's the good stuff. I can't go keep losing track of where I'm at because I have to keep pausing because the car drives by and it sounds horrible on video it just it sounds so much louder than it does in person so I know not to talk over when a car comes by but um yeah so I'm gonna have some car content <laughs> I got oh, some fixing to do shouldn't be anything to although the not really looking forward to that bearing it was a it was a hassle the first time uh, I'm not really looking forward to pulling that Pro Charger off. But maybe uh, pulling it off will go faster than installing it. I don't know. I can hope. My back's not really into this. But I am going to have that procedure done here shortly. Uh, so that should help too. But then the weather's turning cold. So I'm not sure what to do. But anyhow, yeah. So I just want to put out a, a little update. Let you know that. I am working on some content. We're going to have some stuff. It's going to be a lot of car content. So, All my car people, if you're still around, you should really enjoy what will be coming up. I'm seriously thinking about cap back for that GTO. Yeah, I can just do a uh, an axle back. Just No, no, because the mufflers on that car are like way up front. Or the resonators. Something like that. I don't know. You got the catalytic converters. Then there's two two things up front that look like mufflers, kind of. Maybe the resonator, and then it goes back in there. So, yeah, I think I just need a cap back. Maybe, maybe. Proceeds from Project Z28. Use that. All right, everyone. So, thanks for watching. Sorry it's not a uh, very entertaining or whatever video, but I just want to give you an update as to what will be going on. So... Thanks for watching. Take care, and hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.